until we reboot. Clear? Questions? Okay. Next week's lab asks you to dynamically allocate just enough space to hold each string, pass those strings to a subroutine, namely str compare. So how are you going to pass it? Does it tell you in here you, you should pass by reference or pass by pointer? Does it tell you? Does it specify? No. You get to choose. I recommend that you practice both ways. Okay. Pass by reference reduces by one the number of symbols you have to deal with. But there's going to come a point in time, real soon, where you're going to have three, at least three, pointers. At least three splats in front of stuff that you're passing around. Okay, so here's an opportunity to experiment with that in a very short program. Okay. Questions? Everybody understands what you're to do here? All right. Lab three posted. I'm going to mention it because on Monday I'm going to start talking about it. I want to give you a lot of time to get your labs done after we've had a chance to talk about them. If you're struggling on Monday with figuring out lab two, and I'm talking about how do I do ragged edge arrays, you're going to miss it. Right? So I suggest that you keep pace here, actually stay ahead. Justin is already done with lab two. Okay? And many of you probably are, and you're looking at how do I do lab three? Here's the layout. We have an array. Is it possible to have an array of pointers? Yep. Indeed it is. This one is going to be a static array of pointers. And so I, you, can, you can allocate an array of pointers that's maybe 500 pointers long. I don't care. It's only memory. 500, it's fixed this time. Lab 4 is going to change that assumption. And we're going to allocate and deallocate this array dynamically. Okay? As it grows, as it, the need for more grows, we're going to allocate and deallocate. But for now, we've got two le levels of indirection going. We have a pointer to a character string. Now I want to pass this array somewhere so I can plug it in, plug something into it. So now I've got a reference to a pointer to a pointer of string of characters. Okay. So please take a look at chapter 12. This material. Okay. And I guess we're done for today. See you Monday.